Child, this Nia and Jeezy sit down interview is like a much needed therapy session for us all. As black people, we don't deal with our past traumas or our current traumas. We so used to putting on and putting up barriers and guards as protectors of our hearts, showing vulnerability, talking about it and rehashing it. But what will that pay? The past is the past and we take that ish to the grave. We as black people, not used to people listening and caring about our pain, struggles and strains, resulting in failed relationships, mental health challenges, and public shame. Now, Nia and Jeezy are taken to the couch for comfort. These are folks of fame. Let's listen to some of their story to see what we can possibly gain. The crazy thing though, because as I sit here at 46, I can tell you that, Yeah. but I can't honestly tell you that I've experienced love, like right. especially non-conditional. Like I couldn't tell you that. It was always something to it. Right. Well, maybe you had to get open to it first to heal it, to attract it. Well, I mean, you know, when you're when you're coming up in a family, right? Yeah. There should be at least a baseline of health, yeah, right? and, and and just healthy, yes, you know, just yes. conversation, right? Mm -hmm. And I can say that I probably got more love in the streets than I did when I was in. That Are you guarded? Because you seem guarded. Yeah, very. One thing is my relationships have been very much on the surface. When I started losing a lot of people, right? Because you don't want to get to Are you talking about it. love relationships or homies, like uh, people? Uh, homies and then even love relationships I've been in where, you know, people just ain't right. You do realize, and I've had to learn this too, because I can be guarded as well, right? Right? Is if you are carrying that, right. you attract that. This is so if someone else is guarded or someone else is not being their full authentic self, it's because in some sort of way, we haven't settled in. Um, oh my God. <laughs> but the reason, but the reason I know that you're guarded is because when I was in high school, I only dated drug dealers. Oh really? Oh my God, that's where I was. I lived in South Central LA. That's what it was. Wow. I would have never thought that. Really? Nah. But going through your um your trials and tribulations, like yeah. I know you're working on yourself like we yeah. all are. Do you feel that you're okay? Like not what people are supposed to see and supposed to think, but uh -huh. you. I think I'm exactly where I need to be, which is some days I'm like totally good. And then other days that. I'm like, oh God, this feels like so much work. I feel that. You know, and then other days it feels like uh, women shouldn't have to be this strong. Right. I don't want to be this strong sometimes. Right. Okay, you made me cry. Yeah, I got you first. <laughs> you, but you're good though. No, I'm good. I mean, listen, it is what it is. You like I mean, it's, it's, it's life is a funny thing because like I always saw myself. I don't think black men and black women have those conversations enough. Even now we're doing the work. That don't mean everybody else is on board. And that's the crazy part. But that's the thing. They, you got to let them go. You got to let them go and you got to let them be on their own journey and you can't fight for it anymore. And you got to love them exactly where they are. Mm. And you got to say, baby, you know what? The Whoa. hardest thing to do is to walk away from someone that Whoa. you still love. You ain't tell me and it was it's a pastor okay. too. <laughs> no, I'm just speaking from my own, speaking from like, you I know. I 1000% agree experience. because the hardest thing I have to do in life was walking away from everything that I knew that could support me. Right? That's right. But what was the men and black women can't sit like you and I are sitting in a space and have really open dialogues about things and, and work through the trauma because that's the only way we can really, really, right. really be productive. You said if it couldn't work, then you would leave. Yes. Even if there was a family, well, even if there was kids involved, if the other person is not willing to do the deep, hard work, wow. then you stay. And when you stay, you have to make yourself smaller to stay, I to survive. I 1,000% agree with you. Or you may not 
I think for a woman, it means you have to make yourself smaller to feel like you're fitting into right. this space with this person who's not ready yet. Right. You can still love them, by the way. Right. You can still love them. You can still wish them the best. You can still, you, I mean, you might have moments where you want to cuss somebody out. Like right. that's normal. Like we, we have feelings and emotions, but you can love people right where they are. Right. Because to me, that's really a sign of my own personal growth. If you can love the person that hurt you. Right. But you mean love them from afar. You love them from afar. Right. You wish them well. You bless them on their journey. And you hope that the next time around right. that they have the opportunity to do the work that they do the work. What happens when you... Y'all, this interview was amazing. Please go out and look at the entire video on Jeezy's YouTube channel. But I have to admit, when Nia you know, spoke about sometimes as a black woman, she just doesn't want to show up to be strong all the time. When she grabbed that tissue, I had to grab me one as well because I know what she is speaking of. We have so much just bear it down traumas, things that we have that are not resolved, that we're taking into relationships. I beg of you, most jobs now, as a part of their um, health care plan, there are, are options to have counsel. You can do Zoom sessions or whatever. I feel like we all need to tap into those resources because we are dealing with a lot of unresolved um, abandonment, not having fathers in the home, not having mothers in the home, um, just, you know, all kinds of childhood traumas that we're taking into relationships and we're failing ourselves, we're failing our communities, we're failing our homes, get the help that is needed. Um, that's all I have. Go out and uh, subscribe to my channel, like this video, comment under this video, and we'll talk the next time.